What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. So I've got a really juicy video for you guys today. We are looking at secretly OP champions for Live Arena, free to play edition, epics only. Um, but you know, these are champions that people know of them. They're really good for Classic Arena and 3v3. But for some reason, people I've never, I barely see them ever used in Live Arena. And I know they're good. They are going to help you, especially if you're in the lower tiers. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to see where we are in Live Arena. Um, so I did drop a little bit. Um, last week I was on holiday and I didn't do Live Arena for a whole week, but I've been pushing back um, this week. And we are in the top 2,500 for Live Arena. I'm just going to show you some of the team comps that I come against. And like I go against absolute beasts in Live Arena. I'm really getting paired up with some really hard teams. So this guy, he's in, um, you can see that he's in plat and you know, he's got Duchess, he's got Seafy, he's got Candrophon. Um, usually this is all I go against in Live Arena with paired up with uh, either Python and Harima. It, it, it is really hard. It is difficult, but we still managed to get the W and you can see this guy was in plat. I think this is an older screenshot. Um, then we've got, this is probably the best that I've ever done. So we've gone against Seafy and Rotos almost. Well, we've got Seafy. Five Star Awakened and Rotos are fully awakened. That is just huge. Really, really difficult. And then only he's got Marichka and Taras as well. These are like two of the strongest duos for Live Arena right now. And we still managed to get the win. That was just crazy. And then we've got a real nasty team comp here with Duchess, Double Mortu, and Ultimate Death Knight. Um, had to think outside the box a little bit here and bring in Astrolyph. And uh, yeah, Astrolyph. People sleep on her. She's a great champion. She's not like the best, but she can definitely be very good in certain situations. And there, then just like another nasty one with um, Arbiter, Hegemon, Double Ratos, and yeah, let's <laughs> just sneak, uh, sneak in Samson here and do some nice stuff. But yeah, another older screenshot as well. But um, yeah, let's start checking out these champions today that we're going to be looking at. So like I said, um, most of them will be for sort of lower tier, but you could definitely use some of these for the um, higher levels of arena. And first one on the list can definitely be used in high, uh, high level arena. It's my man, Basher. So I think Basher, I don't know why, but people sleep on this guy and he's so good for live arena. Think about it. All I ever see in live arena is either a reviver, double reviver, cleanser, and stone skin. If you know the other enemy team are bringing this in, and you can tell, you can just see by what champions they've got. Basha is the answer to this. You bring him in with his A2. He's got an AOE attack, increases the cooldowns of all target skills by two turns. This is huge. This means that their team is not going to be able to do anything for two turns. Now, obviously, he's a weaker version of Warlord and Yumiko. And if you've got those champions, of course, you're bringing them in instead. But Basha is a really strong alternative that you can bring in as well. But not only does he have the, you know, the increased cooldowns, but he's got a really nice um, A3 as well. Attacks four targets at random. So it is four, you know, four random targets, but he has a 100% chance of placing block bust for two turns. This is massive. You know, um, like if you go against like a Duchess, who's going to, you know, bring out, um, you know, block buffs. Block debuffs, sorry, block debuffs and um, perfect veil. You know, there's a good chance that you're going to lock out most of the team. This is also a really strong ability. And yeah, but just, just the loan that being able to lock out the whole team for two turns is massive. The way you want to build him, you can do sort of two ways. You could either go stone skin with lots of accuracy, just make sure he goes first in the team. But personally, I think the best way to go is really, really fast, probably a triple perception or perception mixed with speed and then lots of speed. So it's really fast. Um, ideally, you want to be pushing around sort of 270 speed and then 500 accuracy. But of course, the higher you're up in, you know, the higher you are ranked, the faster you need to be, the more accuracy you need. That is good starting stats for him. So then next on the list, uh, we've got a reviver and she used to be everywhere when... Um, Stone skin first come out. Can you guess who it is? I think she's a sacred order. Yep. 
There she is, Cardinal. Cardinal is still a really good option. Um, not many people being bring in block revive champion, you know, block uh, revive, you know, sorry, block revive. So when they kill someone, you can't revive them. Not many people are bringing champions that can do that. So Cardinal is a really good option as well. So you can you can do it many different ways. Either you can build it so that you know you've got like an Arbiter and a Cardinal and then the rest of your team, like double nukes. Or you could just go, you know, Cardinal and Arbiter, they, bla they ban the Arbiter, that's fine. We still got Cardinal and we've got Cardinal with us, like probably a stripper or like a Madame and then double nuke again. It doesn't matter. And it's just so strong and people just really forget about having this, you know, this AoE revive the entire team, heals them 25 max their HP, but most importantly, their turn meter is going to be maxed. Um, yeah, it's just such a, it can be really annoying because people aren't going to be prepared for this and you can just sort of slip her in and then just really surprise the enemy team. She is still a really solid option for Live Arena. So next on the list, we've got Anuka. And I think it's just someone that no one really thinks about. It's a Barbarian and it's Alika. So she's a champion that I came across against in Live Arena. And she just really caught me off guard. She's got really good multipliers. She hits really hard. One problem is though, she does need books. Like she, she must live in the library. I was this like 21 books or something. That's a lot, a lot of books to invest into a champion, but she's definitely worth it. Um, so she's got a really nice um, A3. There's a hundred percent chance of increasing the cooldowns of enemy skills by two turns. So basically the same as Basher. Um, so this can be really nasty. So it doesn't mean you have to put a bit of accuracy on her. However, if you've got 200 accuracy, that will probably be enough to take out either their strippers, certain support champions, or their nukers. So it means their nukers, like say they've got a Leores, the chances are he's not going to be built high resist. You can come in with the A3, lock out his A2, meaning that he can be feared or CC'd and then come in with someone else that's going to lock him out. And that can be, you know, that's really like high end level play that players aren't going to be thinking about. Um, and then, you know, she just like hits really hard on all of our abilities. Also really nice A2, attacks one enemy. We ignore 50% of the target's defense if their max HP is higher than this champion's max HP. Chances are they are, and that is huge. Like being able to, that's like basically, you know, if you've got Savage and Helm Smasher both prop, that's 100% ignore defense. That is huge. Um, but yeah, and you know, of course, if they've got like a, a high resistance champion, you're not going to be able to put their skills on cooldown, but that doesn't matter. You know, it's all about locking out, you know, their nukers or their supportive champions that are going to strip us and just locking out the rest of the team. And it hits really hard as well. So it is a really, really solid ability. And she's a really underrated champion. So next, we've got a champion that everyone can get from Doom Tower. And it does take a while to get her, but she is a really good champion. And it's Ryan. Um, such a good champion. People sleep on her so much. I can't believe, I just can't believe that they do. Um, she's definitely someone that I should start even using more. You can definitely use her at higher end level um, live arena play. So if I was going to build up, definitely... Um, like six pieces stone skin so she gets stone skin for two turns and then lots of accuracy and you just want her to be the fastest on well turns on sort of team you got but either you want her to be the first or second fastest in your team so she strips so you've got a hundred percent chance of stripping all buffs from the enemy and we've also got a hundred percent chance of placing the big boy version of weakened so that means we're going to do more damage to the enemy team as well She's also got to revive a dead ally with 50% of their HP, then fills their turn ER by 50%, then will also place block debuffs on them for two turns. This is really nice ability. So she's got a revive as well. I mean, it's just huge. She can just do so much to your team and just like a really, really nice champion. Also attacks one of me and has a 50% chance, but 75% chance. When fully booked, are placing block buffs, debuffs for two turns. Another, another massive ability. But to be honest, it's all about being able to strip with her. And it is a big, big strip. So then last on the list, 
We've got a new car, um, another new car, and it's just someone that I, I don't see often, but I know they hit really hard and they can be really, really annoying. And that's Gala Long Braids. She is a great champion. Um, you do need really good support champions around her, but she can still, you know, just absolutely destroy the enemy team. So A3, attacks one enemy three times each hit. We ignore 25% of the target's defense. That is massive. And then grants an extra turn if this champion has full HP after using this skill. A2, attacks one enemy. Will ignore 50% of the target's defense when attacking under a shield buff. Kills this champion by 50% of the damage inflicted. Places a shield buff on this champion equal to any surplus heals for three turns. And then A1 attacks one enemy two times each hit. We ignore 30% of the target's defense. Places a shield buff on this champion for two turns. The value of the shield is equal to 20% of the damage inflicted. So ideally, you probably want her to be in a fast team. You want her to be in Savage. You'd want, you know... Um, Attack percentage on the boots, if you can, otherwise speed. Attack percentage on the chest, crit damage on the gloves, uh, attack banner, attack gloves, no, sorry, <laughs> attack ring, and then crit damage on the amulet. But what you want to do is you want to bring in support champion in either a bolster set or a shield set, and they need basically, that support champion will need um, HP percentage on the gloves, chest, and boots, and HP on the ring, on the amulet, and on the banner just so we're getting big fat shield which um basically is going to protect gala and that will make sure that she will get benefits from our a2 and a1 but also because she's going to have big fat shields in her it means that with our a3 we are going to have full hp meaning that we are going to probably kill the champion and we can just keep popping off and just wipe the team just such a strong champion and people really do sleep on her so just to wrap up the video, I just want to do a few honorable mentions. Uh, Thanex, a great spirit epic champion, has a block revive on his A1. And with Live Arena, a lot of people only bring in one Nuka. If they've got one Nuka, you kill their Nuka. They can't be revived, and then you can just pick the rest of the team off one by one. You do need to bring in someone that's going to throw out debuffs, though, so he gets a double hit on his A1. But such a great champion. Really, really good. Uh, Gembo. The strongest Void Epic Nuka, but everyone sort of knows who he is, so I didn't really want to put him on the list. But he's still such a great champion. So if you don't know who he is, you definitely need to check him out. And he can go through Unkillable Buff. Um, just such a great champion and just hits. Definitely one of the, probably the hardest hitting Void Epic for sure. Then we've got Mania. Um, definitely more for sort of lower um, Live Arena, but such a great champion. Being able to put that Unkillable Buff up for two turns. You know, the chances are the enemy team aren't going to be able to strip it because it's lower end of arena. But you are then basically protected for two turns, can get work done and just drop the enemy team. And then last but not least, Magnar. Um, he is a spirit epic um, demon spawn champion and he just hits like an absolute beast. Um, definitely worth gearing out and he's got great survivability because he's a HP champion as well. Um, but yeah, let me know who I've missed off the list. Who are the hidden gems that you guys are using in Live Arena to help carry you get those wins? Please do let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.